is going to share his experience on how the blockchain opportunities in the South Pacific. So let's welcome um, Professor Ali. Yeah, thank you, Joshua. Good morning, students and colleagues. Uh, my focus would be product, not paper or theory. I came from academic and industry background. Before I moved to Fiji, I worked Thalas. Thalas is very close to Southern Cross Railway Station. Perhaps you guys know Thalas is number one uh, ranked company in Europe, ranked by NACA. So from there, basically, I moved to Fiji. The reason I told my aim to product. I can give an example. So when we ask, do you know building work base? All of our students say, yeah, I can know that. So we need you in the university, but in the industry, I'm sorry, I don't need you. In the industry, if you know how to build the work base, how you can capture customer data, how you can set the machine learning algorithms, how you could analyze, how you could make the prediction. If you know this thing, then I need you in the, in the industry. So this is the difference between industry and academy. Anyway, so my talk, basically we are looking product for Pacific nations. My topic, already Chair mentioned, Joseph, thank you for the opportunity to enter me again in Monash. I am a little Monash, just have told already, and the alumni of Monash. So you can see Fiji in the map. It's a unique country. There is many reasons. Fiji has 333 islands. I'm not sure how many country has this kind of islands. And before I moved to Fiji, I never seen a wall under the water. It's a beautiful place. However, in terms of technology, we are very behind. You can say we, in the past letter of numeracy, I mean, we are living with zero. We don't have blockchain technology. So today, I'm going to tell you some opportunity. If any student or team, if you like to take any project from my talk, I'm happy we can work together. <clears throat> I'm going to focus in these four areas. Number one, food security, health, e-wallet, and smart HR. You can see some of you know this thing, Joseph and other people have been in Fiji. So this is one of the popular drinks in Fiji. We call kava. Basically it's a root crops. We collect from the plants, we pound it, mix with water, then drink. In South Pacific we call Fijian wine. It's not alcohol but it has value to the Fijian community. Culturally, even if our Prime Minister at an, any event, this thing must be there. I, I can compare with our Chinese nationalities or Japanese. When you go there, they offer a cup of green tea. If you come to Fiji, we will offer this thing to you. Very same. So my topic here, food security. You can see this beautiful lady holding the tree. Basically, we collect this root and we pound it and we made the powder and then mix with water and tea. It's a very unique product from South Pacific. You know, we export around $43 million to overseas. Mainly in Canada, New Zealand, Australia, other part of the world. 
I mean, our Fijian people live in mainly these three countries. So they like this product and they like the tea. You may think forty-three dollar, forty-three million is nothing. So my previous speaker was talking billion. To Fiji, million is a big thing because you can buy one kilo ginger in Australia thirty-five dollar. In Fiji, you can buy one dollar twenty cents. So it's a big amount to us. Anyway, this thing basically coming from one island, special product. There are some product from other island as well, but you can't compare the taste from the origin of the island. That is called sabu sabu. Now question is how customer could know. This is the product came from Sabu Sabu, and this is the same test I could have if I purchase. What is the solution? Solution is you know over the two days we are talking here. If we can implement this thing with all the data and information in blockchain, then customer without any doubt they can purchase. That's why we need blockchain. <clears throat> so food security not only Fiji; it's a challenge over the world. Many of we are talking climate change, so we are worried people cannot live with the hot water. That's not the question to me. Question to me: food security. When climate is changing, that the fish. Used to live close to island, they will run away. Fiji is a tropical place. If Fiji become you know colder than the crops we eat from Fiji, we cannot have it because in the winter place all the tropical fruits cannot grow. So many people are worried about the climate change. Human cannot live. I am not worried for that. Human cannot eat. That makes me worry because our food culture will be changed. So food security is a topic. It's a big topic. So here, if you like to, you know, implement blockchain, so smart contracts between traditional partners, improve product data security, also important to us. Supply chain, improve product visibility. You know, this kind of thing we have to consider before we implement food security in blockchain. The topic is not new. You can see list of the company already started work, including Nestle. Australia made a regulation to start work in this area. So this company basically mostly from America. They are utilizing blockchain technology. E health health is a big issue. Our Pacific nation. And not very advanced citizen as like Australia or Western world. Diabetic is a big problem in Pacific. If you come to Fiji, you will see when we eat, the amount of food I pick in the plate may be three times the meal. We love to eat. As a result, we got diabetes very, you know, quickly. One of the big issue of diabetics. When people get it, that kind of problem comes to our nation. It's a huge impact in the community and situation. To me, if you ask me which one you like to handshake, cancer or diabetes, I would say cancer. Diabetes is very social burden disease. People will survive twenty years, twenty five years, giving the pressure to the family, giving the pressure to the nation. And diabetes. Doesn't kill patient overnight. It kills organ, one first kidney, eyes, heart, as like that. So this is a big problem in the Pacific countries. You can see the map. Only red spot we have hospitals. As I told. Three hundred thirty-three islands 
many islands we don't have as they are. What is the solution? If we can implement e health, it could help to our specific nation. Our budget is not very big, around 4.5 billion USD. So we spend a lot of money for health. Our health system is a little bit poor. I can give an example when a patient comes to hospital. It doesn't matter how emergency the patient. At least half an hour, he or she needs to stay in the counter to collect the file. It's totally manual. So people will run uh, give the file, record file, then patient would be able to go into the hospital bed. It's very traditional, very manual. If you can implement our health system, health record, eh? in blockchain, blockchain can give the warning, okay, you need to come to doctor, you need to come to for a regular check, maintain your sugar level, or blockchain system can give the warning to the patient, this is the time to take the medicine. We don't have any pharmaceutical company in Fiji. We bought almost 100% product from outside. Only one pharmaceutical company, New Zealand, established. But 99% medicine, they are exporting to overseas. So we bought basically all the medicine from overseas. If we have a blockchain system, in Fiji, I mean e-health system, then through the system, we can inform to Fijian government, okay, these are the medicines we bought this year from overseas, and the budget was like that. Next five years, the budget would be this, that. So government may have some early preparation to serve our citizen. So this is the another area our students or research team can focus. Of course, there is a challenge. So, create a system that could be used by different stakeholders, such as doctor, patient, insurance provider, pharmacist, medical specialist. In including Australia, I would like to say our pharmacy system is very manual. When a person comes to purchase a medicine, the time we have to consider at least 15 to 20 minutes to stand in the pharmacy to collect the medicine. We are living in the advanced world. My question is why? When a patient moves from doctor to pharmacy, that time pharmacy should know this person coming to me for that medicine. When a person would enter into the pharmacy, that the pharmacist can say, welcome, your medicine is ready. It's a simple process. But technology is not there. So when basically patient needs the doctor, that time doctor can trigger this prescription is going to pharmacy X or Y Z. Because the you know popular pharmacy list I can find into the patient profile. So when patient will reach to pharmacy, that time patient can get ready medicine patent. Even blockchain can give the authorization to pharmacy, take the money. Get ready my medicine. So, strength, weakness, of course, threat there as well. We need to consider before we build a system for e health. It will be transparent, secure, of course, patient would have trust in the system. Now, e-wallet, big topic, our community is working long time, but still challenges are there. You may see, these are the banks, top banks, I mean, all together we have these banks in Fiji. So here, Westpac, not from us. 
first Australian bank. But they are serving to Pacific. ANZ, not from Fiji, from Australia, New Zealand. The Great Bank, again, not from Fiji, from France. The Bank of Baroda, from India. We have only two million, HFC and BSP. Both 100% technology we are taking from overseas. Any software we are taking from overseas. So if you can see the top graph, so banking cost with income ratio, Fiji is higher than Australia, than New Zealand. It's expensive. And many of places we don't have a deal. To withdraw some money in Fiji, we have to travel at least half an hour or maybe more than. Many islands we don't have banking system. They should come to another island only to pick the money. Yeah, we are living in the advanced world with our technology. So, our argument, if we can establish e-wallet for Pacific Nation by blockchain, it could help to our nation. We aimed this project. Of course, we like the security, secure the system. Thieves should not have chance to take out the money. We have to create the awareness. We have to have proper law. We don't have in the Pacific countries. So we would like to introduce blockchain or you want challenges our people they don't know what is blockchain okay we have to inform to our people if it's good under the algorithm with the leadership of Joseph we got some money to conduct meetings, seminars, symposium in the Pacific. I'm confident it would work. Proper solution, more training, workshop, as I mentioned, we've got the brand and we'll work from it. Next one, data. As I mentioned, our hospital system is very manual. Since hospital system is manual, how come we would expect our HR is smart? HR system also very much manual. We would like to build a HR system through blockchain. That is our aim. Thank you. Yeah, I can see one of the colleagues already hands up. Yeah, our HR system should be very smart. Many of organizations in the Pacific, they recruit without any background check. This world is open. If I open your social media web page or LinkedIn page, I can easily discover who are you? What is your stand? We can do social media mining to find out your profile. So our aim to build a smart HR system by blockchain. So we can, you know, circulate any job application. All the applications should come to the system. System should assess by itself and system will give the ranking, these are the top three people you can interview. And system will go to the, you know, all the academic, uh, I mean industry leader, their profile to find out a common time to conduct the interview. Without asking to the individual or administrator. 
So that is our aim. We like to build it. So his system it doesn't mean only interview and give the offer to the proper candidate. His system contains many things. You know that. How many days leave you have? How many you can take now? His system should stop you if your immediate boss is on leave. You cannot take the leave. Then who is going to take care of the organization? So his system basically a complete module. And if in blockchain every block can be one module. Some we listed here, payroll, recruitment, as I mentioned earlier, employee verification, background checking, profile recording, everything. Contact management, then personal job yes. These are the things we can implement, payroll, recruitment. We like to, you know, secure all the data, contact management. So through our system, if any our system organization or any government people or security people, they want some information easily, we can give the access. Now, is the above of the country. So for the security purpose, we can give this true, I mean fact, about a candidate or about a staff in my organization. That is all. Security is a question. Of course, by blockchain, we can secure the system. Data privacy, we will maintain that. This is our responsibility. We would like to add modern machine learning technique. One is NLP, natural language processing for profile mining. Our system will give the opportunity if somebody from South Korea want to translate less than a minute, it will be able to translate everything. This is not our technology, technology already there. We just need to integrate. Benefits, I'm sure you know that. What is trust? Sarah yesterday mentioned trust is important. I do agree. But we have to know trust would not come over the night. You may recall some of you, you might be very young. When people introduced fertilizer for farming, no one was interested to buy fertilizer. So fertilizer company gave the fertilizer as a free of cost, please use it. They throw the fertilizer bag just beside of the root. So now our farmer cannot survive with their fertilizer. So I would like to say if we can build, already there are solutions, if we can build this kind of technology as a prototype, if we can give to people, please use it. They will get the advantage. And after that, I can say, yes, we established the trust. Many other things, you can have a look. So all the things we may add, if we may have a search system by blockchain. Of course, cost is a factor, speed is a factor, If we can achieve this thing, we can say we are committed for our nation, 
since we build the trust we can say we are ethical and ultimately we can have one pacific community under the integrated so you may see few pictures in this slide all from fiji the world i explained you earlier it doesn't look as like that this is tourism area that area is the west and all first one run by overseas people not local people however if we could have <coughs> the list of technology i explained so we may have entire fiji and south pacific as like that so finally i would like to welcome if any student any research group want to join with us you will we are new in this area but we are confident we will do something my team our team i would like to say they are here everyone here so it will grow with the solutions you have my phd and master student everyone has individual project in blockchain now references i would like to say thank you google and other people who have done some work thank you now you have